Let's take a look at the molecular geometry of C2H2, acetylene. We'll look at this from the respect of the carbon on the left. So we have two things attached to it. We have the hydrogen and then we have the other carbon. There are no lone pair electrons, so we only have two things on that carbon. And they're going to spread out as far away as they can, in this case on opposite sides, and give us a linear molecular geometry. And that's going to look like this. We have the hydrogens on the end and then the carbons there in the center. And you can see it's in a straight line. It's a linear molecular geometry. And we have a triple bond right here, just like we have up here. We could also use the AXN notation to figure out the molecular geometry for C2H2. A, that's the carbon we're interested in. X, that's the number of things bonded to it. We have the hydrogen here, and then we have this piece over here. So we put a two for X. And then N, that's the non-bonding electron pairs. Well, all of the electron pairs are involved in bonds. We have the triple bond and then the single bond. So we don't need to really worry about N here. We'll just get rid of it. So you could have memorized that AX2 is a linear molecular geometry, or if you have one available, you could look it up on a table. And as we go to our table, the very first thing on it is AX2, which is linear, and the bond angle would be 180 degrees. Which that just means that it's a straight line. So that's the molecular geometry for C2H2, and this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.